Hey everyone, welcome to the fourth part of tutorial React Native video calling app. So, in last tutorial, we uh, created a simple Node.js app and uh, we were making user login and uh, we were checking if the user has got disconnected and uh, when user were lo logged in uh, were logging in they were uh, the other users in the chat room were getting notification that a uh, new user has logged in so every user was uh, aware of the user in the chat room at present and whenever they a new user joined the chat room uh, all users were getting notified and whenever any user got disconnected and was leaving the chat room every was user was getting notified so we will continue from there and in this part of tutorial we will make the user call the other user okay because that is the uh, meat of this uh, whole tutorial so calling uh, part we are doing here and uh, this will be basically uh, a web client calling another web client but this is the thing that will be used the same logic and almost the same code uh, in the react native app as well so let's see what changes we have made in our last code so if you see here we have added one more text box okay one more input box and one button so once user log, logs in and he sees that uh, uh, he knows the other user that are there in chat room and he knows the username of those user he can use any of those username he and he can enter the username here and he can just click on call user and once user clicks on that call user button then this button calls call user function and sorry So I think this has got a bit wrong. Okay, let's do it in the yeah. So once user calls, uh, once user clicks the button, then call user function is called, and uh, in the call user function, we are taking the user id that has been entered by the user and we are checking if the text box is blank or user has entered a username if user has entered a username we simply removes remove the text box from the ui so that user is not calling another user at the moment and uh, we set the busy variable true so that another user is not able to call this user same time when he is making a call and we save the in call with variable with the username to whom user is calling so these two variables we uh, set so that we can uh, make the call successful and this in call with variable in which the user's username of calling a uh, user who is getting called is being saved we will use later okay so this need to be saved in this variable and then we finally make a call to the server and we send a message of type call user to the server and we send the username of the user who is calling and we send the username of user who is called so this information we send to the server so that server can uh, pass that message to the user who is getting called okay now let's see uh, uh, the another part when user when the server passes the information to the another client when server passes the information to the another client then the control is getting passed to this part uh, this part of code and sorry not this part this part 
this part of code and this switch statement with answer case is getting called and here we are here we have our on answer method and which has the data that has been sent by the server okay see we are assigning the information that is sent by the server here in data and we are passing to on answer method so now let's see what's happening in on answer method in the on answer method we are first checking whether the busy variable is true or not if it's true uh, then uh, definitely the user is busy okay then the call won't be successful okay and instead uh, we will register a call busy log if user is not busy then we will again save the calling user that is the user who is calling his uh, username in in call with and we will prompt a message to the user with the username of calling user that this calling user is calling you now user uh, now the now this present user is getting a prompt of uh, whether to accept or reject the call so if he accepts the call then we log a call accept a message and if he rejects the call bin then we log a call reject message and when we log the call reject message then we uh, set the busy to false and in call with we set to just nothing that is a blank string so that's it for the client side now let's see what we are doing at server side so in the server side we have added a uh, one simple uh, case to the switch statement to pass the call to another client okay and this is a call user case okay so when one client calls another client this call user case is called on server side and the server first checks if the user that is getting called is really exist in the chat room if user exists then the control is passed to this these statements and if the user doesn't exist then simply a notification is sent to the calling user that the user who whom he is calling is offline so let's see what's happening here if the user is not offline so if user is not offline then uh, we are simply sending a message of type answer to the another user who is getting called and also the name of user who is calling we are passing as a part of this message so this answer type message is getting handled here here and this answer case is where this on answer method is getting called that we discussed just few minutes back so that's how this complete calling process is working okay and that's it for this tutorial this part of tutorial and in next part we will uh, extend this calling part and we will uh, see how the another user accepts the call because here we are just logging when he accepts the call and logging when he rejects the call but this need to be handled by the user who has been called and so we will uh, we will code this these parts in the next tutorial so now let's see how this whole code is working in action so let's turn on the server okay so our server is running on port 443 so let's okay sorry we need to change the code i haven't updated the code so let's let's first update the code
and just to uh, tell you that if you want this theoretical part of this tutorial you can just visit our website and you can find the theoretical part here okay okay now let's turn on our server and let's open our client so here is our one client and let's open another window okay so now first first let's log in a uh, one user user a is logging in okay so user a logged in let's log in another user user b logs in so when user b logs in he can see that user is already in the room okay so now user b can call user a so let's make a call okay so when uh, see now user b is getting the message sorry user a is getting the message user b is calling you he can accept the call or reject the call if he uh, if he rejects the call let's first reject the call okay so call is rejected now let's log in another user okay so user C has logged in and all the users have been notified that user C has logged in now let's see if and user C can see that user A and user B are already in the room so now user C will call user A because this call has been rejected the previous call by user A so user A is uh, not busy he is free so so again C user C is calling you we can either accept the call or reject the call let's accept the call so call accepted so this is how our calling uh, procedure is working okay and if you want to like see the as I told the theoretical part of the code then you can just uh, visit our website here and you can check the theoretical part of the code and if you haven't subscribed to our newsletter please do subscribe because we uh, keep posting these type of tutorials and we have this complete series of video calling tutorial which you can see here you can check out all the parts of this tutorial and you can just enjoy this uh, video calling app using react native so some of the tutorials are free and some are like for premium members and i hope you will go for the premium membership and you will appreciate the hard work that has been done by us and we will make sure that you we keep posting uh, such awesome uh, react native tutorials so please do go for our premium membership and help us to uh, continue the hard work that we are doing so thank you so much guys for watching this video and have a nice day